Hey, it's Laura Davidson from Shore. On today's episode of How Do You Do That? I'll be walking you through how to set up your MB7 as an aggregate device on your Mac. This allows you to take advantage of both outputs of the MB7, the USB and the XLR, allowing you to have two independent tracks, one that has that DSP processing and one that is the raw audio. This is handy in post if you wanna be, let's say, recording a live stream and then take that audio after the fact and add your own effects while your live stream hears that nice DSP processed USB signal. So I'm gonna walk you through it. Let's jump right in. The first thing you wanna do is open up your audio MIDI devices on your Mac and click down here on the plus sign to create an aggregate device. This will open up all of the options available to you. I'm going to select my Shure MV7 and my Apollo Twin. So then I'm gonna go ahead and open up GarageBand. And then I'm also going to go over here, make sure that my audio preferences are set to be my aggregate device. So my input is set to aggregate, my output is my Apollo Twin. Great, I'm gonna go over here, click choose. And now my audio, I'm going to select input one. And now you'll remember from when we set it up in the audio MIDI, audio MIDI devices, I can never say that, that that was input one. That was gonna be my MV7. And then I'm gonna add another track real quick. This time input two to be the XLR. I'm gonna input, configure my track heading to record enable. Record enable this guy, record enable that guy, turn off my metronome and my count in. And now you'll see when I click record that I'm recording two independent tracks of audio and clearly my track two is not as loud so I can bump the signal up on my twin because this is that XLR signal. And now you're hearing both. So I'm able to capture that DSP processed audio here and the raw XLR audio here. So that's how you set up an aggregate device using your MV7 in your DAW. And you can apply this in any of the DAWs that you choose as long as you're using a Mac. Thanks for watching.